Okay, we're going to show you how to clean the EKO 1.5, either the HRV or ERV. Uh, they're both basically the same machine. Um, you're going to need either a Phillips head or a number two square head to undo the two screws down the bottom. Just carefully pull those out. Okay, now this just, there's a couple of metal hooks on the top and we'll just unhook that and that'll come right off. Now my unit's running and it would be a really good idea to turn the unit off. So now if there's any dirt on here you certainly want to clean this off and make sure that this creates a good airtight seal. This is my demo unit in my office and I've actually got four temperature probes and uh, I test the uh, efficiency of the unit. So you're going to have two filters up top here, one that's going to filter the outside incoming air. You're going to vacuum this and uh, rinse it out, kitchen sink or laundry sink. And then you have one that returns the air from the inside. This will mostly get dust on it. Again, you want to vacuum and rinse that off. The heat recovery core or the energy recovery core, either one might be a little stuck in there, but if you give a little yank on it, she'll slide right out. And we're going to follow the instructions on the front. If it's an HRV core, there's one way to clean. It could be soaking. It depends. Uh, if it's an ERV core, we definitely do not soak it. That we basically brush off, vacuum it, wipe it down, make sure it's clean. But you want to follow the instructions on the core itself. As far as inside the unit, any debris that's in here, you want to wipe it down, clean it up. Um, every three to five years, somewhere in that range, depends on how dirty your air is, the fan blades will actually pick up uh, dirt on the leading edge and uh, inside on the blades and you can actually lose 20 to 30 percent of your airflow if they get really dirty. So in this particular model, these plates with the motors, um, if, you, if you pull on them, they'll actually pop out and the whole plate will slide out. You got to be careful, you don't want to mess up the styrofoam too much. But you can see that whole plate will come out. Nice snug fit. There's a wire that holds it in place, but at least here you can get at it. And you can actually take a, a damp cloth and wipe down, you know, the fan blades here and get off any of that accumulated dirt. Um, and then just carefully put it back in place. Set this bottom edge down in the groove there. There's a groove that it sits in. And then once she sits down in place, this will actually just snug right back in place there. Okay, and same with the uh, motor on the other side. Both the same with that. And again, you won't have these wires in the way. These are my temperature probes. A little science experiment I got here in the office. But just basically make sure everything inside is clean. Wipe it out damp rag, maybe a little light cleaner, nothing nothing harsh, don't use bleach or anything. And uh, and then everything just slides back in. When you put the core back in, there's a color-coded dot here and you want to make sure that that matches up um, with the right side of the unit and obviously you want to have it up. So you're just going to set it in the bottom here, line up the two sides, Make sure the gasket doesn't get ripped off. Have it nice and level. And if you have it in right, it'll just slide right in nice and easy. Okay. And then the filters, doesn't really matter which way those go in as far as where the, the right or left. And you just want to make sure they slide in. If they get hung up, just, you know, just pull them out. They should slide in nice and easy. And then the door, <clears throat> you see these three little metal tabs, there's three little holes up here, and basically you just set it up on top of that edge, and then they'll just, they just uh, fold right over there. And then we get our two screws. If you use a gun like this, a screw gun, you want to be really careful, you don't want to over tighten these. So just snug them down, <clears throat> just till they touch. Okay, <clears throat> you want an airtight seal, but you don't want to pull out the little seats that they're on, and you can do that if you over tighten it, and uh, maybe with just a hand screwdriver would be best. And that's basically it.